What are you doing? Why? <laughs> I refuse to believe that quick play players are real people. Hello, hello, folks. Solo here with another Elite Smash video. This is not on stream, we're just recording. This is just for you, YouTube audience. This is no one on stream gets to see this, but if you do want to check out my stream, I go live three to four times a week at Solo Jones on Twitch. Anyway, to look at our GSP right this very moment, it is 9828141. We got up to 0.75 before. Let's see if we can get there again. By the way, if you're watching this and you're not yet subscribed to the channel, what are you doing, dude? It's the best channel on YouTube. No one's even close. Mars? What, like the planet? You subscribe to a planet? That's cringe, dude. Subscribe to me instead. Oh, Smash Bros. Ultimate versus Melee. Let's see how it goes. If Melee lags at all, I'm gonna call them a, a fake Melee fan. You can't, you can't have the tag Melee and then have a laggy internet, dude. It's like asking for a rollback and contributing to the problem at the same time. All right, got that down so bare. We got a mashy falcon on our hands, everybody. And he's dead. Let's see if melee can they lay it on me at some point here. Okay, missing the nair two there. Some falcons. Oh, that was good though. I actually really like that call out. Some falcons, I swear, if you just di out and down, they just don't know what to do anymore. They're like, uh oh, I can't kill at thirty now. Now what? Oh well. This guy's starting to starting to turn it up, not gonna lie. Let's hope he keeps Falcon kicking my shield again, because that's how I got my first big kill. Okay. Every time I shield he's going for up B, which is smart. It's really good. Oh he made it back. I thought he was dead for some reason. Got to play some uh friendlies with fatality this weekend, so I'm feeling pretty confident in this matchup. But uh it is online after all, it's just a different game. Uh, and I also have been playing pretty much exclusively offline, so I'm a little rusty on how to play it. Uh, but let's see if he brings back. This is definitely still... Like, I, I'm barely losing here, if I even am losing. In fact, I would say I'm now winning. Um, you know, it's crazy how things can turn around like that, right? Okay. Found some damage. Big lead. Oh, yeah. You're going to air dodge in on me, dude? You're going to air dodge in on me? You get an air dodge in? You're crazy, dude. You think I'm not going to catch that? Oh, what a fool this man is. I must move forward. Well, that's a solid-ass start, dude. Let's see if we can give him another one. Let's give him a best of three here. But, man, I'm pretty happy with that. All right, melee. Let's see if you can turn it up for game number two here. Okay. I need to see at least one wave dash or wave land from this guy, or I'm not gonna believe his name at all. Uh oh. I should see that coming. I feel like Falcon Mains are always going to side me there. Like, literally 100% of the time. Okay. Nice. Got the mix up. He thought I was gonna take a risky punish on the down B that I couldn't quite get to in time. I'm not going to do it. We can kind of down tilt Falcon's shield. The problem is it's hard to get away from his up because our down tilt's minus 13, his up is frame 15. So we only have two frames to get away there. Uh, and since we only have two frames, there's not really much we can do. We can like start a back dash. Sometimes we can spot dodge. But spot dodge doesn't really dodge Falcon up very well. It's like very active. Alright, just caught on to the fact that I'm landing with Nair and then... Okay. See, so yeah, that's what makes Falcon Up be good is that it catches jump as well. Got a shield. So I need to chill out and shield... Or jump a little bit less. One thing I can do is Tomahawk grabs will just completely destroy Falcon Up B. Uh, because, again, it's frame 15. So your, your grab will get there before his does. Oh, Lord. The trip. The down air trip. Comboed out of into jab. Oh no, he got the armor. All right, as soon as I start talking too much, I start losing, so let's chill, let's win. Chill time. Where are you going? Blast him? Not yet. You got a date with it though. Wow, that grabs him so far away. 
Oh, don't kill me. Okay. I'm jumping too much. This is what this is telling me. Okay. He's not quite dead. Alright. We can get this. Oh, you think you can go high? You think going high will save you? There's nothing you can do, sir. Except for that. That was a good jump though. You caught me being greedy on ledge. That dental is hella disjointed, too. Oh, no. Okay. No big combo, please. Oh, he missed the, he missed the knee. Woo! That might have killed me. Okay, so now we stop mashing and we just start waiting for this. Literally that is what we were waiting for. What is he doing? <laughs> like, I don't understand. He's just mashing now. Alright. How many buttons? Oh god, I can't lose to this, right? Oh, can I? I knew it, dude. Every time. They're in the corner, they're gonna downbeat. All you gotta do is drift back there. They're dead. All right, that was, a, that was an explosive, fun, best of three to start things out. Well played, he dropped me. Thank you for the game's melee. All right, Diddy Kong. Character I've been playing a lot of lately, so I know a lot more about him than I used to. Maybe we can use the banana well here. Oh, nice Z-drop. Okay, this guy actually knows what he's doing. This is a hard matchup for Ike, especially if I just eruption in neutral by accident. Okay. I'm actually learning a lot from just watching this guy. Um, stuff that I should implement into my Diddy Kong. However, I know from playing this character that this percent matters very little. Uh, Diddy Kong, not a character that can kill you early. Um, there's not really a lot of good Diddy cheese that doesn't involve daring you on ledge. So as long as you don't get hit by some kind of crazy stream, string near the ledge, it can be very hard for uh, this character to kill less than like 130, which is when the smash attacks start killing. That being said, they can rag up damage like crazy. So, definitely a really good character. Very frustrating to play online, I would say. Not necessarily bad online, but definitely frustrating. Oh, you can't flip that close, dude. That hitbox is huge! Uh-oh. Okay. I like the idea of what he was doing. Trying to catch my getup. So one thing I can do is I can actually Z-catch items from ledge like that, which makes this matchup a lot more doable. Okay, I get a free grab out of that. Uh, I missed my follow-up combo, though. I think I went into Diddy, Diddy Brain mode as soon as I hit a banana, and I just, like, delayed my uh, up air, which is something you do with Diddy when you do a down throw combo. Give me that nan. Dude, what if I landed Z drop there with Ike? How sick would that be? Okay, I'm not playing Diddy. I gotta I gotta stop trying to do Diddy things with the banana. Like I don't get an F smash for that. I get an F tilt. Ooh, that was really nice actually. What was that a Z drop? Uh and then he followed my drift into a dare. He could have died, I think. Okay. Getting comboed really nicely. This guy's good. This guy's got some really good conversions. One thing I would give advice to Diddy players trying to beat Ike, though, is if you just time a short hop fair, like, really well, you can completely prevent him from jumping. In fact, you can usually just react to his short hop and uh, kill him for it. I'm not dead, but ow. I tried to use it to get a grab, but he's smart. Man, I 
wanted to grab the manor. Okay. This is a Diddy Kong kind of game, dude. 148, still alive. He's got banana. He's just waiting. Okay, he's going to be trying to find an uh, up smash here. Hopefully we can catch him getting desperate and get a bunch of damage. There we go. We're already at 69. This is a Diddy Kong problem, dude. This is the only problem with playing this character. Is you got to find a smash attack. Oh, I missed. That was good, though. Oh, and then he just dies. I feel so bad for Diddy Kongs, man. I've been playing this character on Elite Smash a bunch, and the number of times I have gotten this kind of lead and then thrown it away and died at 70, it has happened way too many times. So, you know, I don't even feel like I... Like, I did a decent job with the banana there, but I did not play him that hard. And, uh, man. Did he hard to play online, man? You gotta be so precise. It's not that he's bad, but you have to play a very specific way to do well with this character online. And not a lot of people are willing to do it. Just like very passive, run away. You know, you have to play him like Sonic almost uh, to win with him online. While offline, you can be like a little bit flashier, more aggressive, like tweak plays. It's not that you can't do it online, it's just really hard. Okay, I knew he'd jump for the banana. Let's get the banana. There's a lot we can do with this. Oh, what if? I could have done some cool shit there. Okay. Alright, see, none of this damage really matters until he gets me to like 120 or finds a gem. Which there, he could have thrown the banana at my uh, ether and then dare spiked me when I had to do it again. I think that's what Diddy should do. That should be a big focus of Diddy's game plan against Ike. Okay, wow, you grabbed me out of the ether. Nice. Oh, I wasn't sure if I was dead or not. But that was a good down tilt. And then he just dies to a random dash attack. Diddy problems, dude. I know that's not true, so I'm just going to hold air dodge there and then get the reversal. Learning how to play a character, even like on a semi-competent level, is so good for learning how to counterplay them. Just knowing what they want, what they're going for, is such a big deal. Oh, got the banana combo. Nice. Especially a weird character like Diddy, right? Okay. Still alive. He really should be throwing the banana at me. We can Z-catch that. And now, if I get a hit, it's a free dash attack and he dies. Okay, I missed it, but I found the dash attack anyway and he died at 90. Man, it's rough out here for, for monkeys. Can't get the Z catch at that range. He's learning. Okay, he finds the F smash. Good stuff. Okay. I want that banana, dude. Okay, we'll do some Z drop aerials. Scare him into thinking we know what we're doing. I wonder what I could get out of a Z drop catch uh, near. Oh, he caught it. Good shit. I find those easier to do with Ike than with Diddy, by the way. I think it's because my moves are so big that it's pretty easy to recatch the banana. He is just fairing, dude. He needs to be full hop fairing a lot of these. Since I'm full hopping, he has to match my height. And I might do it. Not quite. Okay. 
Okay, that's gonna hurt, but I'm fine. Don't edge guard me. Okay, he threw the banana away. I don't agree with that. Give me, thank you for the banana, I guess. All right, if I find a banana here, oh, he he got the banana. Okay. Ah, uh, that was supposed to be an F tilt from him. It would have been really good. All right. Give me the banana, thank you, sir. Why did he give me the banana, dude? I've been Z catching it from ledge every single time. You don't need to put the banana on ledge in this matchup. It's a bad thing to do. Eat, or if you're gonna do it, at the very least, you have to, to call out my uh, jump, right? You gotta call out my jump with a bear or something. All right, well, it was fun. Um, showcased a little bit of my newfound item skills from playing Diddy. Uh, let's find one more opponent and then call it. All right, we always have to end it with me knowing how to counterplay a Sonic, huh? I played some friendlies with Wrath this weekend, though, and man, my thoughts on this matchup might be changing a little bit. I think I think most Sonic mains just aren't very good uh, because this matchup can be very hard for Ike. I mean, I've beaten some good Sonics with good patient play, but um, Wrath definitely took it to a new level when I played against him, and I haven't played against him enough to like know if I can figure out counterplay. We don't live in the same region anymore. Um, but, man, he made it really difficult. Still, though, your normal quick play Sonics, I can kind of eat those up. I'm not even really doing my main strats here. I'm just kind of swinging. And this guy is, you know, a little too aggressive. Okay, now the up tilt, and 24% taken, that's it. You want to do the funny thing? I'll do it for the fans. I'll do the funny thing for the fans if I can. Come on, give me the funny thing, Sonic. Give me the driver's test. All right, well, come here, bud. There it is. Funny thing achieved. Woo! I'm a good Ike main, dude. It's all it takes. It's all it takes. Now I'm up a whole stock. Should I do it again? Oh my God! What are you doing? What are you doing? Why? I refuse to believe that quick play players are real people. All right, plug in our new GSP. We only get 99.49. Maybe not the highest caliber of opponents found today, so we didn't gain very much GSP. But you know what? That's okay. We still got a good win record, and on the way up is on the way up, which is pretty nice. Almost to that 0.5 here. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit the button down below. I'll be uploading these at least once a week as well as some other guide videos and things uh, sprinkled about here and there, trying to get two to three uploads out every single week. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time.